Now, uh, during this tough type of tough time of pandemic, we all are worried. So are my pregnant patients are worried about them. Now today I will talk uh, about vaccines which can be taken during pregnancy. Now, what are vaccines? What vaccines help us to protect against diseases which can be dangerous or even deadly? Right, so vaccines help our body's defenses to become more stronger and will help us to fight the disease. A vaccine will stimulate our immune system to produce antibodies. Pregnant women, children, old age people who are vulnerable to a lot many severe infections and a uh, lot of severe infection and to protect against them, there are a few vaccines which should be taken in pregnancy. And uh, the vaccines are usually offered to the patient on their own individual profile. Uh, immunocompromised patients will have to take a few vaccines more than a normal immune system. Uh, a normal immune system ladies. Now most common vaccinations that are done during pregnancy in our country is first the TG. It was earlier known as tetanus toxin. Now no more it is given, it is given as TGAP. TGAP is a toxoid diphtheria and inactivated pertussis vaccine. So it is just not a tetanus toxoid vaccine, it is a TGAP vaccine. Vaccine which is not mostly given in countries, but in a country where influenza is too common, is our influenza vaccine. So, now when we will risk of, uh, talk about influenza vaccine very shortly, the influenza, uh, when a woman with pregnant woman with, uh, with a pregnancy, a woman with pregnancy gets influenza, there is a risk of infection as well as the of the patient. There are more chances of abortions, birth, that is low birth weight babies, a uh, dead baby, a baby dying after getting birth. So uh, it becomes necessary, mostly in cold countries, that they take this influenza vaccine. And it can be taken at any time during pregnancy. And this vaccine has a good safety profile. The other vaccine, which is the most important, and we take in, we give to every Indian woman, each given by each and every gynecologist, to each and every Indian woman. That is the T Jap vaccine. That is tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccine. It is very uh, effective to protect the pregnant woman from these three deadly diseases during pregnancy as well as postpartum period that is the post delivery period. Women who have received va this vaccine during pregnancy have higher number of antibodies and hence they are protected against these three deadly vaccines. There are these three deadly infections and there is, there is no any major side effect of this vaccine. TDAP vaccine just causes my pain, my redness at the site of the infection, at the site of the injection, and which gradually goes over a period of one week's time. And it is uh, uh, to be given to each and every patient, regardless of their history of vaccination. Uh, uh, regardless of the history of vaccination, but if they have a proper record of their uh, proper doses of vaccination of they have taken since childhood to till the uh, pregnancy received, then only they are protected. Otherwise, if there is no clear cut remembrance of the patient of taking the last TDAP vaccine, then it has to be given two doses one month apart. And the last dose should be at least two weeks prior to the delivery. This will protect not only 
as it also protects her baby from the severe infections by passing on the antibodies to the baby. Thus, uh, this is the very, very important vaccine to be taken. Other optional vaccines are hepatitis A, hepatitis B, pneumococcal vaccine, and meningococcal vaccine. These are optional vaccines and they are not to be taken by each and every pregnant woman. Well, I also like to tell you about the vaccines. These are the vaccines which are optional and can be taken during pregnancy. But there are a few vaccines which should not be taken during pregnancy. These are MMR vaccine. That is mumps, measles, and rubella vaccine, and the other is the varicella vaccine. That is vaccine against the chickenpox. All these two vaccines, both of these vaccines, should not be taken in pregnancy. So now we'll talk about hepatitis vaccine. This vaccine is given at dose of zero and after six months, and there are no adverse effects in the gestational age. However, uh, if they are having these are these vaccines are to be given for a woman who have any underlying disease which reduce their immunity. The other vaccine is hepatitis B vaccine. Hepatitis B vaccine can be taken to by any lady who is pregnant and who is at risk of contracting the hepatitis B virus during pregnancy, if they are still in a high risk area, then this vaccine is to be taken in three doses. That is the first dose is zero dose, after one month, and after six months. And if a mother is hepatitis B antigen positive and she delivers a baby, then immediately at birth, an immunoglobulin is to be administered to the baby as well as the hepatitis B vaccine is to be given at birth to the baby so that the baby can be protected from the hepatitis B viral infection which the baby will encounter from contact of the maternal blood and maternal secretion. The other vaccine is the pneumococcal vaccine. It should be considered it should be considered a pregnant woman who is having chronic lung disease who is having chronic liver disease, who is having any immunocompromised state, patient is having immunodeficiencies, patient is on any immunosuppressive therapy, patient is having sickle cell disease, and patient who is having aspania. But this vaccine should not be given in the first three months. This homococcal vaccine will protect the mother from the deadly homococcal viral pneumonia. The other vaccine, the fourth optional vaccine is the meningococcal vaccine. It is to be given as a single dose and it is to be given who has uh, is cleaning, that is whose skin has been removed or who is living in close, uh, who is in middle compromise and is living in a dormant group or in a close space. We will prepare, protect the mother from Deadly meningococcal virus. Now, I will just stress again on which vaccine should not be taken during pregnancy. The main vaccine which cannot be taken during pregnancy are the MMR vaccines and the varicella vaccine. MMR vaccine are the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. The varicella vaccine is the vaccine which protects against the chicken pox. These two vaccines are not to be taken during pregnancy. Now, we'll talk about COVID-19. COVID-19 has created a turmoil in our lives. It has uh, the life which was normal going is now going to a new normal pattern. And to enter the new normal pattern, we have to use masks and the hand sanitizers, COVID-19 vaccine is very helpful by pro producing antibodies. The uh, vaccine protects the individual from this from the severe form of this deadly viral infection. 
vaccine does not mean that it will not uh, the patient will not get infected the person can get infected even after the vaccine but the severity of the vaccine can definitely be reduced by taking vaccines now uh covid 19 uh vaccine if we talk about in india we have our two own indian vaccines that is shield and the other is the vaccine which is produced by bharat sir institute of india and covaxin by the bharat bharti clinical and the other vaccine which will be available or which are available is one is the sputnik vaccine and the other could be made available are the vaccines which are available outside in the other are made by pfizer moderna and the jnj company looking for the arrival in india soon this vaccine are safe and they are highly effective against serious covid illnesses and death so Talk about the uh, vaccination, but it has been kept on the back burner. Earlier, this vaccine was to be suggested to be taken, and now it can be taken in between two days. Now it is to be taken any time between three to four months. And when we talk about COVID vaccine in pregnancy. But the international, the international professional bodies have recommended that even pregnant women, the the disease is more deadly and more severe in a pregnant woman than a normal individual because this is a uh, because it is a immunocompromised pregnancy itself is a immunocompromised group. and the harm or by the covid viral infection is more serious than the theoretical risk on paper risk of the uh, complications of the vaccine how the world uh the uh indian government of india has just allowed vaccination only of For lactating mothers, we have not uh, allowed pregnant lady to get to get vaccinated. It is still not given to children and pregnant ladies. But sooner, in a few months, probably hoping that the government of India will allow back of COVID nineteen. to the pregnant as the disease itself is and even can cause death at times and uh, the complications of the vaccine that are on the theoretical complications are less severe than the disease itself uh, we have a uh, all over the india there is a situation of All gynecologists all over the world, which is known as Foxy, and the Foxy has already requested to make the changes. To have already recommended that COVID nineteen vaccine should be allowed to be given to women. Yes, definitely there is very limited data of pregnancy. But if a study is started, and uh, we have already seen that as the disease is deadly, and the vaccines have been found to be seventy-five to eighty percent effective, Indian vaccines, so Foxy has recommended government of India to allow to be, to be given to the pregnant woman. And now, uh, to be allowed to be given to the pregnant woman, the Hoping for the best uh, that the, uh, we get information from government, and also get this. And 
taking a stand on the vaccine uh taking a stand on the vaccine is uh, like uh, has to decide for him or her for herself or what protective measures they can take to protect against themselves from the disease as we know mask and sanit mask is the first vaccine for covid-19 do not forget the mask vaccine mask and sanitizers are the first steps we take to protect oneself from covid-19 and the stand on covid-19 vaccine pregnancy will be resolved sooner in the near future awaiting the permission from government of india uh, it is awaited by, but the press spreading mothers vaccine during pregnancy uh, sorry during their lactic breastfeeding period they safe so for that the vaccines that can be summarized in my talk vaccines that are to be taken are the tdap vaccine yeah cold countries along with tdap the influenza vaccine in immunocompromised patients with liver diseases lung diseases with asthmatic is chronic cell diseases that is a hepatitis b pneumococcal and meningococcal vaccine it so covid night or the vaccines that should not be taken pregnancy and the chicken pox vaccine that is very similar excellent vaccine is very similar as astra the same on covid 19 And at present, is the pregnant women are not allowed, are not allowed to take the vaccine. But the Fox News recommendation that this vaccine is allowed to be given, waiting for a positive response from the government. Mask and sanitizer are the compulsory precautionary measures to be taken by a pregnant or non-pregnant by each and every individual. I hope I've solved many of your queries during this lecture. Thank you, Neil. If you have any question, you can ask me. Hi, Nita. Your question is how many did you get during your pregnancy? Only six doses from birth to the age of pregnancy. A six doses of That are to be taken. No record of such doses is found. Two doses are to be taken. Four weeks apart, and the last dose at least two weeks are to be delivered. I asked, which vaccines cannot be given to the pregnancy? Two vaccines that are mumps, measles, and MMR vaccine. Number one, number two is varicella zoster vaccine should not be taken. I don't know. The question is, when should you get immunizations? When pregnant? Uh oh. Okay. See. Uh, uh. Probably I don't understand your question, but I need to know that there are total six vaccines which can be taken during pregnancy. Of which Tdap is a compulsory vaccine. If you are in a cold area, the influenza vaccine, the influenza is rampant more. Are immune compromised the four vaccines that I have told, and these all four vaccines that is against A, B, or meningococcal can be taken during any time during pregnancy. Meningococcal meningococcal best avoid during during first three months. Prachi, can I refuse TDAP while pregnant? Is a question. Probably not, Prachi. If you have a proper record maintenance. Of your vaccination from childhood till date, which includes six doses of the jab, fine. You may not take the vaccine. No such record is available. It is compulsory for you to take the jab vaccine. Prachna, uh, hi. Your question is: What happens if you don't get the jab shot while pregnant? 
don't take the tea cap shock. So while you are pregnant, then the issue arising are you are vulnerable to the tetanus disease and which is a deadly disease. You cannot come out if once contracted. Purchases and diphtheria are another severe infections and they are also not the they can only lead to severe illnesses but also death. You will not be protected against these infections. Once you take this vaccine, the antibodies will transfer to your people. So as soon as the baby is born, the baby is already born with the antibodies and it that baby's vaccination will not start it. It is already protected against this deadly disease. One of the deadly diseases of the baby is called tetanus neonatum. And if a baby contracts tetanus neonatum, then that baby will not survive. Hi, Uma. Uh, well, your question is when did they start giving TDAP during pregnancy? Probably from last year, one and a half to two, probably two to three years. Uh, now we have been started using the TDAP vaccine. Uh, Sarocha, your question is do vaccines affect pregnancy? Theoretically, over very few side effects, the side effects are the site of infect, the injection that is local redness, local pain, a very low grade fever in a few vaccines. Otherwise, no major side effects of the vaccines which I've mentioned are contracted during pregnancy. So, my friends, I'll be waiting for your questions to answer. If you have any query, you can ask me. Friends, stay home, stay safe. Pregnant women should refrain from going to public gathering. If any are gathering at the time of happiness as well as sorrow is very common. That gathering during marriages as well as gathering during deaths. Pregnant women should avoid such social The government has allowed safety. Persons, hundred persons, a few gatherings, but we should not. Pregnant women should not be a part of this gathering because in pregnancy itself is a immunocompromised state. And if in this state a person contracts COVID nineteen infection, then uh, it is very difficult for the doctor. To bring the patient out of any severe illness contracted by COVID during pregnancy. So, by my take home message will be for COVID 19 infection in this pandemic is wear mask, use sanitizer, stay home, stay safe, avoid using, avoid going to public gatherings. Okay, thanks friends. I hope my session was uh, useful to you and you have been guided about how to take care of your cells during pregnancy. That is especially your pregnant, uh, especially your vaccination. Thank you very much. <laughs>